get crow clothes. All you will need is a pair of locks, and you're going to have some space. So, why crow pose? Crow pose is a very fun, fun yoga pose that is really for beginners and advanced practitioners. And really, mastering crow pose is can seem like a very big challenge to everyone. Uh, things to keep in mind is the fear of falling. Yes, you will fall. It doesn't hurt that much, but it's part of the process. And maybe when you fall, you learn, oh, I got balance here, but I need to press more into the hands. I need to bring my butt up higher. So falling is okay. Next, for crow pose, we really want to have those hands on the ground, pressing into the ground. It can be really empowering to balance on your hands and to get that rush of, you know, you're on your hands, you're balancing, your feet are nowhere near the ground. It's all about strength, pushing through, and then finding that correct balance. When we're looking for balance on crow pose, we want, many, like many other hand balances, we want to bring our fingers down like you're clawing the ground, but we don't want to be on our fingers. Most of the weight, if not all of it, is on the knuckles. The palm and the fingers are just the balance of when you get out of that line with the knuckles. In crow pose, we want to find those lines in our body. First, with our fingers and our knuckles, and then we want to find wrists to elbows. If you have this straight line when you're on the ground, you will be able to get on that pose and really master that balance. Part of getting high and getting that perfect line so it can be straight is bringing your butt high. That's what we're going to use blocks today to help us master that height and get that balance without fear. So just to start off, we're going to put the blocks next to us. Start to warm up the shoulders. So you can be sitting here, just sitting, and we're just going to roll our shoulders back, hands on the blocks on the medium side, not all the way down, not all the way up, just medium, just going to roll back a couple times, little shoulders, roll forward, and now you stretch those legs out in front, sit up straight. Keeping those blocks next to you, you're going to start to press into them, keeping those legs real active so that you're almost lifting the legs, keeping that back straight, you're just going to press and lift your butt off the ground, really press up, head as high as you can, and come back down. Shake it off, we'll do those a couple times, we're going to press, 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 press up, and come back down. Shake it off, maybe shake your legs a little. Make sure your quads are very active when you're pressing them up. So let's go again. Press, 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 press. And come back down. Let's warm up those shoulders. Really keep that back straight. Really keep those legs active and straight. The heels are the ones that are pressing into the ground. So press, 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 press up. And come back down. And last one. Press, 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 press. Up, reach the head up. tabletop on the blocks. So we want to, when we're doing crow, we really want to keep that abdomen active, that inner core really active so that we can hold that pose. Our hands are going to be very straight and our, we're going to be on our toes on this kind of elevated tabletop. So to start out, we want to really press through the ground and round out our back. So we're just going to move our scapula a little. We're going to Dip down to the ground, and then we're going to press round up. So really get that movement of the scapulas in the back. So press down to the ground. Scapulas might touch. And really press. Wrap, wrap. Make your back real big. Come back down. Do a couple of these. Press all the way up. When we're doing this, really try to keep that core engaged so we don't want to bend the back. We never want to bend the back like this. Especially for a crow, we really want to keep that real active, keep that tuck. Imagine your belly button is 
pressing in, trying to reach your spine. So keeping that tuck, we're going to go again. We're going to press down, all the way down, and around the back, up. A couple more down, around the back, up. Down, around the back, up. Last one down, around the back, up. Now we got that scapular movement. We're going to just roll with the scapulas. Roll back. So maybe you have to come forward. Roll back on the bottom and push up. Forward, roll back on the bottom and push up. Keeping that core active, tuck. Roll it one, two, three, four, five. Press up and let's go the other way. So now we're going to roll forward. One, two, keep rolling. Forward, making those circles as big as possible. The scapula is moving, your elbows would never bend. Get that movement in the body. Press up again. Okay, now we got those shoulders nice and warm. Now we're going to bend the back kind of side to side, like blood's trying to reach over to your elbow, but not really. So just kind of get that lower spine a little bit loose. Loosen that lower spine. Maybe you feel your obliques working a little. It's part of the shell. Get some abs while working on the curl. Alright, come back to center, shake it up. So now we're really gonna work on the core tuck. Keeping this tabletop, we're gonna lift the knees up. Woo! That core burns! Then you're gonna come forward and come back and knees back. So tabletop. Bring the knees up, come forward, come back, and down. Let's do five. So up, forward, back, down. Up, forward, come over your hands, back, and down. So we come up through the belly button. The belly button pushes, pulls our body up. So press up through the belly button, come forward, Back and down. That's four. Last one up, forward, back, and down. All right, you're getting the motion of it. So, for crow pose, we really want to find that balance with the hands. But it's also common that we're not always going to have the most stable ground ever. So, we're going to take one block away, put one hand on the ground, and one hand on the block. And we'll do the same thing. So we'll press up, come forward, and maybe you're going to bring one knee up into our chest, really wrap around it, and bring it back down, and down. So let's do three on this side. So press up, bring the knee up, press forward, and back down. Two, up, press forward, press through the hands, and back down. Up, bring the knee up, keep that core tight, press forward. And come back down. Whew, that's tiring. Or is it? So, switch the blocks. Right hand come down. Left hand on block. Do it again. So, come up. Come forward. Bring the right knee forward. Oh, yeah. And back. That's what we're doing. So, let's do three. Up. Right knee off the ground. Right foot off the ground, bring the knee up to the chest, come forward, back, and down. Two more, maybe rest a little, maybe don't. So, knees off the ground, foot off the ground, knee up to the chest, right forward, back, down. Whew, last one. Come up, knees up, bring the foot up, foot forward, come forward, yes. Foot down, come down, and all the way down. Great work. Now we're ready to do the crow. You're just going to go forward and do it. Jokes. Let's work on our falling. In crow, it's very frightening to fall. Especially because we always feel like we're going to fall on our face. In order to be more confident in that, we're going to work on rolls. We're 
bail out. So, I'm just going to come to this kind of low seat. You're going to be on your toes. Your knees are going to be up in your chest. They're going to be pretty close. You're going to put your hands down. You're going to come forward, raise your foot up, and come back down. Hands off the ground, come forward, up, and down. Maybe if you get comfortable, you can jump into it a little, and then come back down. You're not in curl. You're just pressing into the ground, feeling that motion going forward, and then pressing back through the hands, palm, knuckle, fingers. So we'll palm, knuckle, fingers, finger, knuckle, palm. Palm, knuckle, finger, finger, knuckle, palm. Just like you're running, you're jumping forward, coming forward and back. We're not gonna fall, but we got this covered. Maybe you get comfortable, you jump a little higher, bring that face down to the ground, but we're not going to fall. Just keep it tight. Alright, keep trying a couple of these. And rest. And then knees down, rest for a second. Woo! Are you ready for curl? Not quite. We're going to bring. Hands down to the ground. For crow, easiest way is to start really high. So you're gonna put your knees into your armpits, hands down on the ground, and maybe you're gonna come up to this half squat, and you're just gonna come forward. We're not gonna go into crow yet, you're just gonna come forward, feel it, and sit back down. Okay. Start to come forward, feel it, feel the knuckles, feel the hands, and come. We don't want to rest our knees on our arms. We want to keep our knees tight with our abs. So when you come up, knees are tight up there with the abs. Tight, tight, tight. And come down. Now we're going to use the blocks. Stand on the blocks. So, same thing. Just going to stand on the block. Smaller side of the blocks. Just going to come here. Knees onto the hands. We're going to do that same rocking. So we're going to rock forward like we're going into crow, and then press through the fingers and come back. You don't want to push too hard because you'll fall off the block. So come forward as if you go into crow, and come back. Come forward as if you go into crow, and come back. Just getting that motion and that fear of falling on your face out of the way so we can come forward. Almost going into crow and coming back. Come forward, almost going into crow, coming back. Maybe rest a little, relax. Let's try this again. So, for crow, starting out, the easiest way is to bend the arms a whole lot. So, in order for, to do that, we're going to get just a little bit higher on the box. Careful not to fall. We're going to bend our knees a whole lot. We're going to come into this weird position where our arms are going to be really bent. Now remember that line we talked about? We've got to get those elbows right above our wrists. Right there. There you're already in crop. But you're going to keep those feet on the blocks and come back down. So, same motion of tucking that stomach and that core up. Up like you're trying to get up earlier. Now you're going to come forward, bend the elbows a whole lot, and bring the elbows over the wrist to get up. You're all ready and crow, sit back. So this whole idea is that you're coming up through the core, aligning the wrist and the elbows to make a line so you can find that balance. And then you're just helping yourself by bending and bringing your head down so you have less balance up there in one spot. So Come forward, bend, so you can find that straight line. You're already in crow, maybe you lift the feet, maybe you don't yet. Come back to the blocks. Rest for a second. Let's try it one more time. You're gonna come up. Core is tightening up to come up. Come forward, core, core, core. Align, you got that line. Elbows over the wrists. And lift the feet. 
feet. Maybe you have it, maybe you don't. Don't worry. Just keep trying and come back to the blocks. Whew. Now, step off the blocks. And we'll put the blocks in front of us with the hands on the blocks this time. The whole balance comes from your butt being over the same line as your wrists, your elbows, and your shoulders aren't in that line right now, but they will be later. But as long as your elbow and your butt comes close to that line, you will be able to balance. So what we'll do now, you walk forward, you come to that low area of your knees into your armpits. You're gonna come up, bring that butt up high, butt up high, and really pressing the hands. Butt up high, butt up high, butt up high. It's a lot harder than getting crow here. You wanna work on getting that butt up high. So come forward again, butt up high, butt up high, up, 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 and we're going to take the blocks out of the way. Same motion, butt up high. Going to come forward, butt up high. Bring the butt up. Once you get that line of elbows over the wrists, maybe a crop. As soon as you're there, you're going to start to bring the feet up to your butt. Make straight. And come back down. Relax. So, point. But up high, elbows over the wrists, the core real tight. That core is that same motion of that exercise we're doing in the beginning of tucking. This tuck right here is what you're going to need to be up and crow. So, let's try it one more time with the blocks. This time, the blocks are going to be at their lowest point. And you're going to be able to just balance. So this time we're working on balance. I'm finding this line right here. And I'm keeping that core and butt up high. So, what comes first? Core. Core is engaged. Now butt's coming high. Now the elbow's over the wrist. Now maybe we lift one foot. Maybe we're comfortable with one foot. Maybe we want to adventure. Lift the other foot. And you're in crow. Now keep that active, so bring the feet up to your butt. Keep it active, keep it active. Press through the ground, press through the ground. And slowly, come back down to the block, slowly. So, let's do it again, very slowly. Relax the wrist for a second. Hands down to the ground. Start to feel the knuckles, the fingers, Grabbing onto the ground, palms. So, press into the knuckles. Core keeps you up, brings you up. Knees into the armpits. Come forward, forward, forward. Elbows are over the wrists. So now you can start to lift one foot. Butt's coming up. Core, core's keeping it all nice and tidy. Maybe you lift both feet. Once you're there, bring the feet up to your butt. Press into the ground, stretch up to the ground, round the back, round it out. Slowly bring the feet back down, come back, sit in, and back down. Rounding the back out like we did with the scapula, pressing into the ground, finding those lines. Last one, let's really try it. Think you can do it. Come back down, press into the ground. Whew. Press, press, press. Core activates. Core, core, core. Knees are just resting slightly because the core is holding them up. Maybe you lift one foot. Maybe you lift the other. Press into the ground. Lift those feet up high. Press, press. Breathe. And slowly come down. I was tired. Get off the blocks. Maybe put them out of the way for a second. Here, the wrists are a little bit tired. So we'll just do a quick exercise. Hold the palms and just make a circle with the hands. Whew. Circle the other way. And 
Now we'll do a very specific exercise for the wrists. So we'll just hold them in front of us. We'll go out, in, out, curl the fingers, twist, make a fist, flex those biceps on so strong. And now we're gonna push, turn the hands, push the thumb forward, thumb comes forward, woo! Stretch those hands forward and relax. So out and out, curl the fingers, flex the hands, flex the biceps, curl it all in, and twist, thumb comes forward, press forward, woo! Out and out, curl in, press forward, thumb forward. Open the fingers. Relax. Last one. Out and out. Curl, curl, curl. Curl it all, curl it all, curl it all, curl it all. Forward. And relax. Last one for the fingers. You're just going to pull here. Palms interlace. One face is forward, one face is back towards you. And you're just going to bend slightly. Slightly stretch, maybe the fingers, which out your wrists. A couple times. Relax and switch the hands, so make the way that they were facing. Just bend. Relax, shake out the hands. That was Propolis. Let me know if you made it. Please comment, please ask us more poses. I hope you can get crow. Don't be scared of it. If you fall, the ground will be there for you. Thank you for joining me, and I hope to see you in my next classes.